Right, hello Cabbage fans, let's do some news. So we've still seen the new sets, but we may not have seen them in the new box art. So we've got the KV-1 here in the new box art. I think the box art's looking really good on these. I like the white kind of grooving on the side, the small at the bottom, and then a bit more set detail here. So this is the Fuka Red Baron, uh, the new one. And then we have the Citrons. So we've got the Traction 7A, and then we've got the Traction 7C. So you can see it in the new box art there. Um, we also had an update on the limited editions that for some reason Kobe aren't going to pre-advertise these anymore. They're just going to come out and you got to hope you're ready for them. So that's an interesting move. Um, I think it's something to do with servers, but we'll see what the reasoning is behind that and hopefully they can sort it out. Uh, but the main set we're all here for is not this one, it's the next one. It's the, this is a, the Ghoul's Horch. I mean, some people might be here for this one. I know I'm gonna pick that one up, it looks really good. Um, but is this one, the Tank Museum exclusive set. Um, the differences on this Tiger, you get a David Fletcher minifigure, which is a slightly new design. Um, there's also some changes to the Tiger itself. So the hatches here are different. It has a nameplate with the Tank Museum on it. And it also comes with an exclusive certificate. Um, you're also assisting the Tank Museum when you buy this, so definitely worth picking it up because it's a great museum. And then we have the front. The new box art looks really good. This tank looks incredible. You say you can only get this from the Tank Museum. Uh, I think they're pre-ordering it now. I think it's 58.99 in British money, which is about 68 in dollars and about 315 Polish zloty. Forgive me if I got any of that wrong. But looks awesome, and I'll see you on the next news video. Bye-bye.